tea guys very nice and come up with a clava that's a veggie platter so the one in yellow what is it called chiro hello everyone and welcome to a new uh, seriously tasty video i'm here in uh, Kerry, north carolina to try uh, Ethiopian, another Ethiopian restaurant uh, in the town of Cary, North Carolina. Um, Cary, North Carolina seems to be the winner in terms of uh, authentic uh, cuisine uh, from all around the world. Uh, there are so many uh, international uh, cuisine restaurants here in Cary, North Carolina. So this uh, restaurant is called uh, Awes, Awes Ethiopian, or I think it's uh, Eritrean restaurant. As you can see here from the sign, it's uh, Awes Ethiopian Eritrean Cuisine. So uh, this is really a good setup outside. They seem to have a very nice uh, outside dining. Uh, a lot of small but uh, very quiet and very nice. Uh, I already have a permission to film inside, so I'm going to go inside right now and show you. I like about the Ethiopian or Eritrean uh, culture is this dress, uh, you know, the uh, national dress or national dress for Ethiopia and Eritrea. Very nice. What do you call what do you call this dress? Habasha dress. Habasha dress. Guys, I saw this in Addis Airport. They they sell it in Addis Airport. I went there before and I saw the same people. Even the flight attendant, they wearing the same thing. Yeah, that's the traditional culture. Right? Yeah, it's very nice. It's made yeah, it's handmade. Oh, nice, very nice. I mean, the colors blend together very well. Uh, this woman, what this woman is doing right now? This is like. A... Oh, the cotton for the dress. Okay. So everything by hand, done by hand. But it, the picture show like she is uh, separating the cotton and make it look like the strings, and then she formed the dress. Yeah, very nice. Uh, here is in a more colorful picture. That's amazing. Hi guys, look at this. This is also another artwork. I just love Ethiopian and Eritrean culture so much. Wow. This is like a real picture of a woman. Uh, jewelries. Wow. Look at these colors. That's pretty nice. Uh, welcome back again. I just uh, find a seat in the uh, restaurant. Uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with my hair. It's kind of messed up. I, you know, I cut my hair, but uh, I, it seems like I, I told the barber the wrong way, <laughs> the wrong way to cut my hair. Uh, it's a bad mistake. I just uh, sit down inside the restaurant, and um, after showing you the beautiful artwork inside the restaurant I uh, placed my order for a veggie platter and uh, something called for the side I ordered something called shiro wat or uh, shiro wat w o t shiro um, they, they said it's a chickpeas but uh, I'm sure I'm gonna test it I'll show you guys how it looked like uh, the restaurant open every day from 4 to 8 o'clock so uh, they open just for four hours and as I told you this is Ethiopian Eritrean restaurant cuisine uh, they are two separate countries two different countries but they 
groups, they have the same culture between Ethiopia and Eritrea, uh, but they are uh, separated uh, maybe uh, uh, 20, 20 years ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but uh, it's just like India and Pakistan, you know. India and Pakistan, they used to be one country and then they separated. Uh, but what stays the same always is, guess what, food and culture, of course. So, yeah, uh, Eritrean food, Ethiopian food is uh, the same. Um, uh, for the most part, I'm sure there's, there will be some kind of uh, minor differences between Ethiopia and Eritrea uh, cuisine, but um, for the majority of the uh, menus or cuisines is uh, exactly the same. Uh, I ordered, uh, as I told you, the veggie platter, uh, which is uh, multiple vegetable items very nicely presented in uh, Shirwat uh, and the Shirwat sites uh, they serve both of these I guess with the Anjara famous Ethiopian Eritrean Anjara bread I'm gonna wash my hands because you know I'm gonna eat with them so I'm gonna go to the bathroom wash my hands put the soap and water and come back Resume recording. Uh, this, uh, the okay, this is the sanitization, guys. Uh, it's a hundred. I never seen a hundred. I always see like 97, 98, 99. <laughs> but you guys exceeded the the score of everyone. You beat everyone else. That's amazing. Oh, look at this beautiful art. Wow. What is this called? The one that in the green color? That's a Kadaro. Kadaro, okay, Kadaro. For, for music? Yeah. Oh, okay. This drum. Oh, drum, yes, yeah. yes. That's very nice. And that's a Ethiopian coffee in the back over there. Hmm, very nice. And the restaurant seems to be very super clean, organized. You guys are doing a very good job making this restaurant stand out like this. Really good job. All right, guys, surprise. This is the food just arrived. That's a veggie platter. That's a veggie platter. So the one in yellow, what is it called? That's the sky shiro. 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 Uh, which is chickpeas, right? Yeah. And the green one, what is it called? That's a color green. Color green. And uh, then that's potato and tofu, uh -huh. cabbage and carrots, okay. split lentil, spicy, whole lentil. Okay. That's the awazi sauce. Okay. And that's the split chickpea. Okay. And the injera is made 100% tap. 100%. Wow. Tap. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. So the injera bread is, is, a, is it like a whole wheat? No, it's a, a grain called, a small grain called tap. Oh, I'm sorry. Tef. 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 Yeah. Okay. How do you spell that? T E F F. T E F F. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tef. Tef. Okay. Yeah, and it's not mixed it with um, wheat or anything. It's completely gluten free. Oh, nice. It's uh, full of nutrition pack. Yeah. I cannot wait to to start trying that one. Please that's, do that. Looks so delicious. Okay. So appealing. Enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So Eden, just show me the menu items here. What I'm gonna be eating. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I want to show you more close up. Haha! <laughs> Look at this water. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice water. Size water. Okay, this is more close up. You guys better look at it because it's going to be destroyed in a second. Very nice presentation of the vegetarian platter. Okay. And I have uh, plenty of water. Because it's hot outside. Yeah, very hot. All right. So everything you, uh, Ethiopian uh, cuisine or Eritrean cuisine you eat by hand. That's why I went to wash my hand. As I told you, uh, this hand uh, help you as a fork and as a knife <laughs> at the same time. 
Alright, so I'm gonna start with the lentils beans. So take some of that angel bread first. Kind of scoop out the uh, chickpeas. Hmm. Wow. That's very thick and very, um, very. I feel like very authentic too. Very natural flavor of chickpeas. That's very nice. That's super delicious chickpeas. My guys, look at that. Hmm. The chickpeas are very tasty. All right, I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I, I want to continue on the chickpeas for a little bit. Hmm. I kind of feel that it's cooked to perfection. Not so many spices on it. Very uh, good balance between the salt, and the texture of the chickpeas itself. They have this uh, green chili cheese, uh, chili pepper. Mm. Especially when eaten by the angel bread, the sourness from the angel bread added to the chickpeas paste kind of complete the picture. Oh my god. It's very hot outside today's temperature. I'm not sure how much, but it's super hot. Alright, I'm gonna move on to the next one we have, which is uh, this one here. I'm gonna apply some of that. like a natural flavor of these beans no additional you don't taste any additional uh, like um, something overcoming the flavor of the bean itself but that's super yummy I'm gonna dip it on this sauce right there very strong natural flavor this is very delicious <laughs> wow that's that's a winner right there that is a winner I'm gonna take it Actually, eat it with this uh, jalapeno pepper. Add some of that sauce. Mm. Cooked to perfection. The texture of these beans is equal all around. I mean, um, and 
if you like about this is the right texture to eat beans because I've been to some restaurants before where they have this um, uh, whatever you're eating is beer or something they kind of more um, doesn't have uh, enough thickness on it uh, kind of you can just power it it's like water sometimes but here the texture I mean is being engineered the chef who made this he's a food engineer <laughs> Feel like you're eating uh, something really come uh, with a fair amount. No, that's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try to eat that sauce by itself. Wow, the sauce is so creamy. That's what I love about authentic foods, is you you get um, you get something really made um, uh, by the culture. It's been made. Uh, uh, invented long time ago, but people carry this out from generation to another generation to come up with this uh, beautiful test. Mm. Amazing. I'm gonna move to the next. I'm gonna actually counterclockwise. The angel bread itself is kind of fresh too. I'm gonna eat that here red myself. Oh yeah. Sourness, freshness. Move into this one here. Mm. It's a lot of sweet. It's spicy though. Oh man, that's spicy. Wow, that's a spicy. That's a real spicy one. I forgot what she said. This one is, but <laughs> that's another winner right there. I want you guys to look at it. This guy here. It's super delicious, spicy. Look at that. Look at that texture. Hmm. Unbelievable flavor. I'm gonna take actually the angel bread right underneath it because it is very well soaked into that sauce. Spice is just keep kicking in your throat if you eat this one here. Mm. Wow. I don't know how to describe this, but this is so so delicious. And If you wait to any Ethiopian restaurant or Eritrean restaurant, make sure you go with this veggie platter. I'm not sure if it's different from restaurant to restaurant, but this is, I mean, so far this is the winner, this is the winner, and this is the winner. I cannot complain, man. Look at that. Alright guys, my camera is just overheating. I'm using my phone right now. To finish the remaining recording of this delicious Ethiopian Eritrean cuisine. Good.
to take some of that with the jalapeno pepper. Mm. Very natural. The jalapeno pepper gives you like a freshness. Freshness test. I wish one day I can uh, leave this channel and just uh, travel around the world and go to these countries and see how uh, how they prepare uh, the food uh, on its original land. Uh, this is with the hot sauce. Look at these colors. <laughs> Really, everything exceeded my expectation. Very healthy, very uh, flavorful. More hot sauce. But if you look at the sides of the dish itself. It's almost about one foot diameter. Uh, they lay down with this angera, thin angera bread, and then they uh, place the uh, uh, ingredient in the top of that angera bread in a very nice presentation. Uh, the presentation itself just make you uh, appreciate the effort that they <laughs> spend on preparing this for you. Uh, in, uh, it comes from uh, very well knowledge and experience. I have seen a lots of pictures online on, on YouTube of Ethiopian Eritrean uh, cuisine, uh, vegetarian platter, and they almost they rearrange it. They arrange it the same way. I read. I read about this culture why they put the food or arrange the food like that I think because they feed each other if I'm not mistaken I have seen a video from um, uh, in food insider uh, in Washington DC and the lady explained <coughs> uh, the reason they do this because in their culture they have um, they have they feed sometimes each other while they're eating that's why they have like multiple items into the above the angular bread and possibly it's designed to eat by to be eaten by a group of people like in a large amount this is going to be imagine this dish is going to be like three foot <laughs> possibly three foot diameter and uh, imagine like ten people sitting together and eating at the same dish uh, I tell you guys, culture, culture is the winner. If you see a restaurant following the culture, nothing reinvented, this is where you want to eat. Yeah. That is delicious. The last one is the color green. Hmm. Okay, natural flavor. No added flavors. This is you. You taste the natural flavor of the color green. I have seen a uh, color green in multiple American 
menus, especially the country, the country style cuisine. They use a lot of uh, curled green. Oh yeah. What are you eating vegetarian too? This is another winner. When you're eating vegetarian, you don't feel guilty about eating some greasy, greasy food or uh, unhealthy food, but this is give you all the proteins you need. And friendly for your body. I dip this one into the hot sauce. <laughs> oh man. Winner. Winner. I'm actually going to take that car green by itself. If you guys notice, I have not even touched this sauce in the middle a lot, but uh, the natural flavor of this stuff is really awesome. I just pick this myself. This area is soaked. I bet you this area is very nice. I think I'm going to finish the remaining and get up red into that sauce. I forgot, I forgot what she said that sauce name, but it's so tasty. It may be uh, another chickpea paste. That's a chiro wat. Maybe that's a chiro wat. I think that's a chill one. Yeah, that's a delicious. I believe that's a chill one. You guys, if I'm not mistaken, it tastes like chickpea. We'll see in the video. <laughs> Mm. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the, the dish colors, I mean, natural, a very nice blend of African blend of colors. I mean, that oh, yeah. sauce is not too spicy, by the way. But it will complete. If you, <clears throat> if you want to add more kick, heat kick into the sauce, that's the way to go. Delicious. That's good. 
This is a shirawat, right? That's a shirawat. Yeah, that's a shirawat. Guys, this is this shirawat is just amazing. Blow my mind. Eating by hand, by the way, is very healthy. But make sure. 100% your hand is clean <laughs> before you eat by hand. If something happened and you didn't clean your hand, you feel sick, don't blame anyone other than yourself. That's right. Wow. So the angel bread is made from a uh, grain called teff. T-E-F-F -F. I'm gonna see how that grain look like I'm gonna google it yeah, I'm very interested to see how angel bread is made but really my goal is to go to Ethiopia or go to India because these are my two cuisine so far I'm loving them I love the Moroccan cuisine as well I'm gonna be recording uh, Moroccan mm, restaurant, uh, but they don't have any rye. No, the nearest one to me is like I have to travel like 240 miles to Washington DC. But Moroccan cuisine is another winner. Shirawat, Shirawat, you are amazing. This entire meal by myself is just another sign that I enjoyed it. Uh, you're definitely <clears throat> gonna need lots of napkins since you're eating by hand. Uh, napkins is a must to have, but that uh, thick hot sauce. eating something very spicy Or Ethiopian tea. This is the best chance to see it right now. Let's say. Oh, no. I'm gonna add some sugar. Oh, 
That'd be nice. It tastes really good. Okay, this is a cinnamon flavor. It has cinnamon, fresh ginger, cold and clove. Oh yeah. Yeah. It tastes good, smells good. It smells good and it tastes good. Okay. Uh, this is really natural tea and uh, it's a way to enjoy the meal drinking this tea.